surfaces. As I get the knack for our interface so that we can zoom in just our speaker that we're going to be meeting in a moment. And that is, uh, and that is jo Joseph uh, Sitcher. And Joseph is a geographer and master in environments uh, analysis and landscape management. He's uh, specialized in GIS and web map, de web map development. And he's uh, currently at the GIS Center for the University of uh, Girona. He's been a visiting professor in several seminars and short co courses in GIS and is professor of uh, remote sensing and web map development um, and various subjects at the, uh, the UniGIS uh, Girona master's course. And he's going to be talking us to today about EduSat and remote sensing as a learning material. So with that, I'm going to hand over to you, Joseph. OK, thank you. I will share my screen. Okay, I think you should see my screen. And also, I will put it full screen. Okay, so I start, you can hear me, I suppose, yeah, so start uh okay my my name is is josep from from sicte uh, which is uh, the geographical remote sensing service from the university of girona and i will present uh, edusat uh, which is a learning platform uh, with open educational materials about remote sensing uh, this platform and the contents of edusat have been developed during the the past month by by our team and thanks the support of the geography department uh, and the Environment Institute of the University of Girona, and also thanks to a coordinate program, okay? And what motivated uh, EDOSAT? So why we developed the, the project? Well, basically, each year at, at SICTE, we receive uh, multiple courses, demands from, from secondary school teachers, and also from, from different studies at, at our university to, to teach about geographic information and, and earth observation, especially in, in the context of climate change. So in that, in that sense, each year we, we organize and, and develop uh, multiple training materials, workshops and, and presentations uh, adapted to these, these course demands. So, so with this experience and, and also with uh, the idea to, to promote the, the use of remote sensing images and and release the, the materials, uh, I decided us to, to put order to all this work done and, and open it to the, to the public. So uh, EduSat borns uh, with this idea, with the objective to, to share all, our experience and, and materials about uh, remote sensing trainings at, at secondary schools, but, but also to, uh, to facilitate the, the self-learning to, to teachers uh, and make them uh, autonomous in order to prepare their own lessons uh, without uh, our direct help, okay? Uh, and, and also uh, because of the scientific evidence on, on climate change and, and on the degradation of natural systems, uh, it's a common demand in, in our case to, to focus the workshops on, on, on that topic, on, on, the, on the climate change. And, and it's also obvious that, that the scientific community, but, but especially between young people has has a strongly matched no? the, the commitment respecting the natural environment. So through various platforms, entities, slogans, so students in that sense from over the world and, and belonging to different disciplines so are coming together to defend their, their right to, to have a planet uh, with environmental health. And, and in that sense, uh, we think that that's very important to, to provide young, young people with, with empirical and quantitative uh, learning tools uh, to strengthen their ecology message. So, uh, in that context, uh, remote sensing is, is a very powerful technological and transdisciplinary resource that, that provides young people uh, with scientific arguments uh, to censure the current relationship between human societies and, and nature. And observing the Earth from the space uh, and using the different available sensors uh, this offers uh, an objective perspective about how humans influence over the climate change, but also to to clearly visualize its its several consequences. Okay, so for students and, and especially for for secondary level students, the analysis of of these images is is very motivating. Even more when they can discover, visualize, and, and analyze recent phenomena in in which they may have. 
uh, been directly involved. Okay, uh, but all these workshops and training materials can can be prepared uh, thanks to the obviously the availability of open satellite imagery uh, from around the world uh, only thanks the the availability of of open satellite imagery like uh, uh, copernicus imagery or or uh, the landsat uh, satellites it, it's possible without these images it could be really very difficult to, to make that kind of workshops and, and provide the students uh, with this knowledge uh, because it's very easy to, to access to that uh, open images and, and to prepare the, the, the workshops. So it's, it's, it's a thing that we have to take uh, in consideration. And okay, uh, this theoretical uh, knowledge, uh, so to, to work with, with remote sensing images and and to perform some basic analysis, uh, students uh, need to learn some concepts. Uh, it's basic uh, about this uh, discipline. So they need to know aspects like the different typology of satellites, uh, concepts about uh, resolution, understand the basics about electromagnetic uh, radiation, how this is captured by sensors on board satellites. Also, what is a band, how it can be combined to create a RGB composition, how to calculate an index. Uh, okay, uh, all these are, are specific uh, basic concepts that, that you, young students should know before they start uh, any kind of activity related to, to remote sensing. So the problem sometimes is that these theoretical concepts are, are complex and sometimes are not uh, easy accessible for, for young people which are not specialized in this uh, discipline, okay? So, uh, in that sense, one of the main objectives of, of EduSat is, is presently to, to present uh, remote sensing to a non-specialized audience and offer a, a user-friendly tool for the analysis of the land surface changes and also a tool for uh, the dissemination of, of results. So, most of the efforts uh, dedicated to EduSat have gone in that direction. And, and as you can see in the website, and there are a specific section dedicated to, to this purpose. Uh, I can share you what is uh, EduSat. This is the, the website platform. And you will find different uh, tools. We have that website in multiple languages. So I will put in, in English. And one of the, the main tabs, or the main contents of, of the website is precisely this, this, this tab, the remote sensing, where this is a specific uh, section dedicated to expose, okay, uh, in a simple and clear way, the principles of remote sensing, uh, facilitating uh, these learning contents to students, uh, trying not to bore them with unnecessary aspects, okay. It's obviously that if young uh, students can learn and internalize these basic concepts, uh, they will be able to, to carry out the practical work with no problems and get the most of the activity, okay. And all this content is also useful for secondary teachers, not only for students. So teachers who have never been familiarized with remote sensing discipline, uh, these uh, materials can, can help them to prepare their own um, lessons and help to teach these principles of, of remote sensing. And as you can see, uh, these are very basic contents. This is explaining in a plain language and they are full of, of images that uh, we think that's very useful for, for students in order to, to learn these basic concepts with not obviously in a simple way, but that will be very useful for them then for the practical, for the practical work, okay? And derived from the objective to present remote sensing to a non-specialized audience, uh, the object of EduSat uh, are focused to, first of all, to design a teaching resource for educators in order to incorporate this competence in the curricula. Also to create a, an educational resource for young students. And finally, to, to develop a transdisciplinary resource for young researchers that came from various uh, disciplines in order to analyze data and disseminate uh, the results. This is the the URL of, of EduSat. This is the page that I shared before. Okay. And anyone who access to EduSat will discover basically uh, the teaching materials designed to be thought in, in, in two blocks. First of all, the, the ones that I exposed, this is the, 
the theoretical explanation about uh, remote sensing, but also in a very simple manner with images, graphics, and, and all that. And also uh, a set of practical exercises that ca to carry out with remote sensing images and with the objective basically to identify natural or anthropic processes, such as forest fires, floods, droughts, deforestation, glacial recession, air pollution, volcanic eruptions, uh, and many others. Okay, so these are the two basic contents that you find in the in the in the website, in the platform. Uh, and also, EduSat includes a, an example of a teaching activity that teachers or educators can can take in consideration to prepare their uh, lessons. So the, the teaching activity is oriented to identify the effects of global environmental change using remote sensing images and is adaptable to, to many contexts and, and students groups, okay? Uh, so first of all, for example, uh, the, the activity that's uh, available on the website, uh, it's very adaptable uh, from one hour to 15 hours. So in that, in that sense, we prepare because we, we receive demands from very different typologies and, and we are uh, used to, to create workshops from many different uh, Time. So in that case, we, we try to uh, package all this uh, experience and, and prepare a, a very flexible activity. So first of all, you, you can have uh, an activity from one to 15 hours, okay? Uh, obviously, uh, the workshops can be organized uh, on a single session or multiple session. Workshops from one hour to four hours will be prepared uh, to be teach in, in a single session while workshops from more than four hours, it's better to do in, in multiple sessions. In case of a multiple session workshop, we have defined it in the platform, uh, 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 an example of what could be teach on, on each session. In the first one, uh, it could be dedicated to a detailed explanation of satellite sensors and their potential. Uh, the second session could be dedicated to show multiple study cases about natural anthropic events and, and with the objective to show the possibilities of remote sensing. So uh, on the third session, students could form groups to analyze uh, a chosen natural or anthropic uh, process of, of their election. And at the last session, they, they, it could be dedicated to present uh, the obtained uh, results to their classmates. Okay, Th this is uh, our proposals, obviously, and, and anyone can adapt to their different situation. But uh, after some time teaching in different groups of that characteristics, we we find out that it's a very a very practical uh, way to 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 explain about uh, or to teach about remote setting uh, at secondary school. Okay. Uh, and we have on one of the main works done during the preparation of, of the platform has been the documentation of several study cases to graphically and, and visually show the, the consequence of different natural and anthropic events. And, and for each case study, we have documented the causes and consequences of the study phenomena and how uh, Sentinel sensors can detect it, uh, the satellites, types, indices, band combinations, etc. Okay. And these are one of the, or some of the examples that we have uh, described. It. At, at, uh, in total, there are now nowadays there are nine cases of study, uh, which are accessible through the, through the map of the main page. If you go to the uh, main page of EduSat, you find out on the first page a, a map with the different uh, use cases, and you can also filter by the, the topic. Um, and for example, if you find or you search by fires, you find one. Okay, the, the one example which, which is the uh, a fire that took place in Catalonia uh, a few years ago. And you go if you click here on the study case, you can access to the to the to the the, the website or to the page of this specific study case. And there you can find, first of all, and this, this is common for any study case, you can find the dates where it took place, the satellite that we propose to analyze that phenomenon, and the category where it belongs. Uh, also, you can find a, a description of the event, uh, the, the dates also again, uh, and different kind of information important or also uh, 
which need to be in consideration to analyze the phenomenon. And then you can find a map where it puts or it places the, the, the event in the world, okay? Then you find uh, information about, uh, this is uh, information uh, about uh, how you can analyze, uh, or how can students analyze uh, that phenomena with remote sensing images, okay? And in that case, for example, you can see how to visualize the, the past and the post of the fire using a, a Sentinel-2 images, using a natural core composite. You can see the, the difference, obviously, but one of the things in that case to, to that students should uh, identify is that using a core, natural core composite, it's not very uh, easy to identify the, 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 the area burned by the fire, okay? But then you can explain during that activity that using a false core uh, composite, you can obviously uh, identify in a better way the burned area. And also, if you you can see the you can compare both images, and also you can identify where it started. In that case, the fire started in a in a farm in in a small uh, village here in in Catalonia. And then uh, the second image from the Sentinel uh, is uh, a few days uh, later, and you can see all the burned area. Okay, so this is a case that students can analyze and identify the effects in that case of a, of a fire. Obviously, there are many other uh, cases, for example, volcanic eruptions. We have identified uh, a case, the Kilauea volcano at Hawaii. And the same, you have the, the page for this study case with the dates, the satellite that we could use to analyze that phenomena, the category where it belongs, a small description, the location of the event, and also you can you can find some images and in that case you can see uh, different band combinations or uh, to or in natural core etc to identify the the the, the, the volcano the, the lava in that case and also using a radar image how the the area uh, changed the morphology this example for example could be now apply it to the volcano here in, in La Palma, in Spain. So it could be an example of how from the, the secondary school it could be teached about uh, remote sensing and uh, analyze a, a phenomena that it's, it's current uh, present and, and with a lot of actuality. Okay? So it maybe it's, it's a new case study to introduce to the EduSat webpage. Okay, so we have many different use cases that any teacher and all the students can can uh, document to analyze the global change phenomena using remote sensing images. Okay, and all, all these uh, materials, all the website is is open. Oh, presentation here, so anyone can can access to this data or this content and and get the materials. Uh, okay, so it's available for free for anyone in three different languages, as I commented in Spanish, uh, Catalan, and, and English now. And just to finish some conclusions is that, okay, far from being a, a discipline uh, reserved for a, a specialist uh, and reduced to a separate group of professionals, so uh, remote sensing is, is also affordable for for uh, at high education level, okay? This could be a first conclusion. Then that thanks to programs like Copernicus or Avanzat uh, and the tools performed around it, like for example, your browser or other tools, it's possible to, to, to practice with that images and to make that kind of, of workshops, okay? Also for, for, for teachers, it's, it's easy to, to access to that images and prepare their own lessons. And also that the didactic and educational platform uh, presents an, an objective and analytical uh, vision regarding territorial process resulting from global environmental change. Okay, and that through remote sensing, the, the ecological discourse emerging from uh, young people is, is given a, an empirical and an experimental content. So they, they have a, an empirical uh, data to 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 analyze that phenomenon and to, to, 
to take their own uh, conclusions. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for your attention. Uh, EduSat, as I commented, is open, and we are open to suggestions. Obviously, it's it's for for teachers to prepare their own lessons, but anyone can suggest us uh, anything, and we also will try to update. Uh, the study cases with uh, new phenomena. For example, this one of the volcano at La Palma could be a candidate to be in the in the website, and many others, because we think that's important in order to keep the attention of the students, because they want uh, actuality, and, and this is a very good way to, to keep their attention. And this is my contact, so thank you very thank you. much. Thank you very much, Joseph. This is really interesting. We've um, we've got a question for for you from the audience, and it's about what the future plans are for the platform, and whether you have plans to translate it to even more languages. Uh, about the languages, we don't have any demand, but it could be a possibility. Uh, and also, the, what we will try is to keep updated with new cases. We will try to, for example, remove the old ones and, and update with new cases because we think that's very important to keep the attention of the students, which need to, to be in contact with uh, the authority. And they keep, this keep their attention. So it's open to anyone. So we will try to get uh, ideas and we'll try, we'll try to, to improve them and to apply to the website. Fantastic, thank you. And I've, I've got a question of my own for you, if I may. I'm curious if you have any anecdotes about using this yourself in a classroom setting. Yes, we have applied in, in, in classrooms, yeah, because have, this is... Have you had some nice student reactions? Can you share with us maybe yes. a, a student reaction? Yeah. Yes, in fact, EduSat are born from our experience and from many years teaching about remote sensing in that kind of, of groups that we receive demands from... We are at the university, but we receive demands from secondary schools and, and the experience is really, really nice. We have... Uh, the students, uh, maybe in the official curricula, they are not used to work that, with that images. And this uh, is a very practical way to analyze different phenomena. In that case, most of the, the cases, the global change, but they discover a new world, really. And, and their reaction is very positive. Fantastic. Thank you, Joseph. You're also getting a thumbs up from the audience, thanking you for sharing okay. for this great work.